Matthew 4.19. And he saith, Jesus says unto them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Again, in Mark 1.17, Jesus said unto them, come ye after me, and I will make you become fishers of men. Let's get the context where Jesus is quoting from. Jeremiah 16.16. 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall, they shall fish them. And I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain, from every hill, out of all the holes of the rocks. You know, it's a good thing to say, go ye be fishers of men, but he's not talking about Gentiles. <coughs> Again, the content, Matthew, Mark, chapter 4, Matthew, Mark 1. And then Jeremiah 16 is the nation of Israel. And we're going to take it one step further. Content. All right, maybe spiritual, I, you know, go out and, and witness the people. But the context is Israel. Mark, uh, Matthew 4, Mark 1, Jeremiah 16. So uh, let's move one step further. Ezekiel 28, 14. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. And this whole chapter is about the devil, Satan. Plain and simple. You don't believe that? Well, well the study's not for you. This anointed cherub was in Edom. And we're not going to do a detail. This is a 10-minute message, 10 to 15-minute message. But thou art the anointed cherub. The cherubs were the, the cherubims. Revelation 4, 7. And the first beast was like a lion. This is in heaven, in glory. These are the four beasts that Ezekiel and John see. They're the cherubims. The first beast was like a lion. Second beast like a cow. I believe Ezekiel says cherub. And the third beast had a face of a man. And the four beasts was like a flying eagle. So you got lion, calf, man, and eagle. The lion is the wild beast kingdom. The calf is the tame beast kingdom. Farm animals. <clears throat> man, well that's humans. Which shows you man is not an animal. There's lion, there's calf. Monkeys would either be under the wild kingdom or even animals that are tame, but they don't fall under man. And then the eagle is the bird and falls. There's one animal kingdom missing. Lion, calf, man, and eagle. One is missing. Ezekiel tells us that there's anointed cherubs that cover it. It is the devil. There were five beasts, five cherubims in heaven before uh, Isaiah 14. In Revelation 12, 9. I mean, today we're going we're gonna to kill one bird with two stones. The great dragon, Revelation 12, 9, was cast out. That old serpent. That's Genesis 3. That's the Garden of Eden, Ezekiel 28. That cherub that was in the Garden of Eden is a serpent. Serpents are the reptile, and you can fit the fish kingdom in there. We have lion, calf, man, and eagle. We don't have a reptile fish kingdom. When Ezekiel and John, because that cherub has fallen. It's called the devil and Satan. So when we look at be fishers of men, and we look at fish, and Matthew and Mark and Jeremiah point to the Jewish nation, fish is the unsaved Jews who don't belong to Jesus. I will make you fishers of men. 
Come, I'll become fishers of men. I will send fishers that they will fish for you. Fish is a type of devil or Satan. It is never the symbol of Christ or Christianity. So if you got a fish symbol and you think that's Jesus Christ or Christianity, that's the cherubim. That is the beast of the devil, Satan, the old serpent, the dragon. The fish serpent is never a symbol of Christ or Christianity. Jesus said to his disciples, I'll make you fishers of men. And what happens if you catch the fish? And they get right. And they trust on Jesus. They become sheep. You don't become a fish when you're saved. <clears throat> you are of your father, the devil. What is your father? He's a reptile fish. Where did you see that in the Old Testament? Dagon. Whose head looks like the Pope's hat. Look at Dagon. And look at the Pope's hat sideways. It looks like a fish mouth open. <clears throat> fish are a symbol of unsaved men or the devil. You are your father, the devil. John chapter 10 verse 2. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep, not a fisher of fish. The devil is the, is the fish god of the fish that are unsaved. And you're probably like, wow, Sal, you really blew that out of the water. Pun intended. You don't believe it? That's fine. John 10, 7. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the fish. No. I am the door of the sheep. John 10, 11, I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd giveth his life for the fish. No, for the sheep. For the sheep. Israel. Israel's like in the sheep. Lost fish. Nowhere do you find fish as a representation of Christ. He fed the, the nation of Israel the 5,000 with, with loaves of bread, seven loaves of bread and two fish. And he's going to feed Israel by, by whacking the head of Leviathan, one of the heads of Leviathan, according to Psalms. And that's a whole nother study you don't want to get into. John 10, 11, I am the good shepherd. I, uh, the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. John 10, 15, as the father knoweth me, even so know I the father. I lay down my life for the sheep. And John 10, 16, other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. That's me. I'm a sheep. In no way am I a fish. If you are a Christian fish, something's fishy. Because Jesus Christ is called the Lamb of God. And in, in Revelation chapter 5 or 6, John said, I see the Lamb, capital L. And the only fish reptilian class that is seen in glory is the great dragon that was cast out, the old serpent. That Ezekiel said that is the anointed cherub that covers that is in Edom. And we run back to Genesis chapter 3 and we see the serpent. I'm telling you right now, according to the scripture, fishers of men, when Jesus sent the Jewish disciples out, the only one that was a Gentile was Luke. He sent the disciples out to go fishing. For who? For beings that were under the devil, John 8, 44, you are of your father the devil, come and let's make them sheep, not fish. 
And I'm here to tell you, and you don't have to believe this, you can believe whatever you want to do, but if you're going to put that fish symbol as a symbol of Christianity or Christ, that fish symbol is actually a symbol of the devil, the dragon, the old serpent, Satan. It's a satanic. It's so satanic that people put a little backwards L on it and they have it a symbol of evolution. Sounds fishy to me. When the Bible tells us in John chapter 10, we are sheep and there are other sheep. And you can spiritualize, be fishers of men, but if you're going to take something from the Bible for soul winning, the sower that went out and, and sold the seed. That's a good one for be fishers of men. All right, you're going out getting the devil's children and trying to win them. <laughs>